Is metformin putting you at risk? Have you developed new or worsening symptoms of extreme tiredness or sore red tongue, pins and needles or pale or yellow skin? These can be signs of low vitamin B12. In this video, we will discover the hidden danger of metformin and vitamin B12 deficiency that your doctor may not know about. Vitamin B12 is a nutrient that helps to keep the body's nerve and blood cells healthy. The risk of vitamin B12 deficiency with metformin usage was recently reviewed by the metformin brand leader, Glucophage. The results uncovered that vitamin B12 deficiency is a common side effect and may affect up to 1 in 10 people who take it. This risk is directly related to the dose and duration of taking metformin. So the higher the dose and the longer you are on it, the higher the risk of vitamin B12 deficiency. Therefore, it may be sensible to check your vitamin B12 levels prior to starting metformin and at regular intervals. Clearly, if you are at the lower end of the normal range to begin with, your risk of deficiency is greater. You may be also at higher risk of vitamin B12 deficiency with metformin use if any of the following apply to you. Number one, if you have a condition associated with reduced vitamin B12 absorption, such as Crohn's disease or other bowel inflammatory disorders, anemia, autoimmune disorders, and if you have had a total or partial gastrectomy. Number two, if you consume a diet with reduced sources of vitamin B12, which is more likely if you are a strict vegan along with some vegetarian diets. Number three, you are taking accompanying medication known to impair vitamin B12 absorption, including proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole or lansoprazole. Number four, if you have a genetic predisposition to vitamin B12 deficiency, such as intrinsic factor receptor deficiency or transcobalamin 2 deficiency. So what are the symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency? If you are taking metformin, I would seek medical advice if you develop new or worsening symptoms of extreme tiredness, a sore and red tongue, pins and needles or pale or yellow skin. These are common signs of low vitamin B12 levels. You may need blood tests to find out the cause of your symptoms. These symptoms can also be caused by diabetes or other unrelated health issues. You can keep taking metformin while vitamin B12 levels are being corrected and do not stop your treatment without first discussing this with your doctor. So other symptoms of vitamin B12 include anemia, neuropathy, mental health problems such as depression, irritability, cognitive impairment, glossitis, this is a swollen and inflamed tongue, mouth ulcers or visual and motor disturbances. When should you monitor your vitamin B12 levels? Given the known risks with vitamin B12 deficiency with metformin, it is sensible for your doctor to measure your vitamin B12 levels prior to starting metformin and then at regular intervals over the course of your treatment. Depending on your specific healthcare needs, you may need to monitor levels more or less frequently. Do discuss with your healthcare provider to establish a schedule for monitoring and ensuring your levels remain within the optimal range. So what can you do if you have low vitamin B12? If vitamin B12 deficiency is detected, then you should consider how you can increase your intake through supplements and your diet. When it comes to supplements, you can discuss appropriate options with your healthcare provider who may recommend oral supplements, injections or sublingual tablets to help restore and maintain adequate B12 levels. Vitamin B12 is found in foods of animal origin, including milk, cheese, yogurt and eggs, Organ meats are some of the most nutrient-packed foods. Liver and kidneys, especially from lamb, are rich in vitamin B12. Beef is also an excellent source of vitamin B12. Like with all meat sources, the best option is grass-fed, grass-reared, organic produce. Seafood is also a rich source of vitamin B12. Clams, which are small, chewy shellfish. 
sardines, tuna, trout and salmon. Vitamin B12 is also added to some fortified foods such as breakfast cereals, non-dairy milk and nutritional yeast which may be appealing to vegetarians and vegans as this source of vitamin B12 is synthetically made and not derived from animal sources. It is important to appreciate that synthetic sources of nutrients are often inferior to their natural counterparts. So in summary, vitamin B12 deficiency is a common side effect of metformin medication. Proactively monitoring and managing your vitamin B12 levels while taking metformin is crucial for your overall well-being. By following these key tips and maintaining open communication with your healthcare provider, you can take control of your health and minimize the potential risks associated with long-term metformin use. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one. And please like and subscribe.